Hello and welcome to Nether Survival Season 2. Minecraft 1.16 is finally out officially. In fact, 1.16.1 fixing a single bug, but that doesn't matter. 1.16 is 100% out. We are playing no longer in snapshots, no longer in pre something something. We are in the official 1.16. And we are here with Season Two and we spawn in a crimson forest. Uh, probably not the best place. What do you say? I see a warped forest over there. Um, I say I get some wood and get out of here before I die. I think that's a good idea. Anyways, you could probably see some graphic changes and that is because I am rocking with Faithful Texture Pack. Link down below in the description. Also a link down below uh, in the description for what I'm using. Uh, to make this uh, HUD more dark. I, I feel like it's very fitting to the nether, you know? I feel like it's very fitting. I like it. Links down below in the description. So yeah, here we are, nether survival season two, back to the beginning. Now things won't be the exact same as they were in season two. Um, I did look over there a few times, but uh, you, you may have seen something that is not exactly supposed to be here. Um, we'll take a look at it in a minute, but I will also, for this season, put some season goals that we will try and succeed at before the season 2 is complete. I feel like that will make it a lot more interesting, we have something to work towards, and uh, yeah, something to make it even more exciting. Uh, I have 14 pieces of wood, I don't really want to move around too much. Because uh, Hucklins and I have zero armor and Picklins if they see me, oh dear, I'm a dead boy. So uh, I think maybe just getting a few more pieces, maybe like 16 or something. We also want some... Well, we can make charcoal. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, you know what, 16 should be good. Uh, hopefully this place is secure enough to quickly just get some wood. We're gonna make... A crafting table right here and I'm gonna place it down right here and we're gonna get some basic tools done right now in fact let's get a sword that's the first thing and a pickaxe and an axe uh, eh. 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 there we go cool and eh, shovel I don't, I don't feel like a shovel is really necessary at this point in time now, let's see, are there any gold nearby? Because I could really use some gold for some golden boots. Just some golden armor to keep me at bay from the piglins. Because if a herd of those comes for me, I'm gonna be pretty much messed up. There's a piglin right there. I need to take my distance. Uh, do we have, uh, there's gold and a piglin right there. You know what, why don't we go over to the warped for forest over there, and, uh, where it's a little bit more safe, maybe find some gold there. Now, while on the way, I do have a very important announcement, and I am very, very excited for this. In fact, let me just stop up right here, where it is semi-safe. I have a huge announcement to make, and that is, Nether Survival merch is now up and available for purchase. So if you want a hoodie or a t-shirt or a mug with Nether Survival on it, you can now get it. There is for Nether Survival and Nether Survival Season 2. Link down below in the description. Go ahead and get it. I'm very excited for this and you should definitely go ahead and check it out. I think it looks really amazing and I hope you will like it as well. And if you do decide to buy some and support me in the series, go ahead and maybe take a picture of it and send it to me on Twitter or Instagram. Links for my Twitter and Instagram down below in the description. That would be really cool. That would be really, really cool. But yeah, Nether Survival merch, now live. Link down below in the description. Go ahead and check it out. And yeah, I have just been, I have, I've been working on it for a very, very long time um, to get it ready for season too, and I really hope that you like it. Also, I found some gold here. But yeah, another survival merch down below in the description. Go and check it out. It would support me in the series, and it would mean so much. And, of course, you get to rock Minecraft Nether Survival on your mug, or your hoodie, or your t-shirt. There's even socks. 
Go get it. Anyways, back to the main objective here. I have 22 nuggets, which is not enough. Not enough whatsoever. I think we will just uh, be moving over here slightly and slowly to the warped forest. I do see a Hucklin over there. We will be needing food. <laughs> we will be needing food eventually. I don't see any mushrooms right here, but uh, we'll, we'll, oh no. Oh no, this, this is a really bad. Oh yeah, something else I did not mention. Um, we are in difficulty hard. So that means damage is gonna be, it's, things are gonna hurt a lot more. <laughs> So that's that too. I see more gold up here. I, I really need some gold Nama just so I can get not attacked from these uh, piglins here. That would be amazing. So I think I'm just gonna get some of this gold here where I can hopefully get enough to to make to make some armor, please. How much do I have now? Okay, I have enough. I just need like six more. We can get that from over there. Can I reach that from here? Uh, is 12 blocks enough to make it over there? Oh, there's some down there as well. We might as well get it. Uh, it's eh. Now, Blackstone is also generating naturally throughout the nether, not only in Basalt Deltas. So, I will also be looking for that. Just got reminded because I see some gravel over there. And a huge horde of piglins. Not good. And what? This may act as a bridge over there. I'm just going to leave this here for now. So, yeah, we might actually be able to find some uh you know what before we go down i'm actually going to make the armor right now can we make a helmet ah not a helmet but boots you know what boots will work <laughs> just any golden armor will help me at this point now the piglins won't attack me i'm a happy boy as long as they don't see me mine gold anyway so that is good let's uh let's quickly run over to the warped forest you've probably seen the little thing I hinted towards. Something to my right. If not, then we'll go over to it in a bit. Let's just take a look around the area here. I haven't seen this area. I really like this warped fortress. Not fortress, warped forest look here. And then it looks like we have a wall here. Let me know down in the comments below where you think we should put our main base. Or not our main base, our startup base. I'm thinking down here in the warped forest. I'm just thinking. Maybe to switch it out from season one, but I like that plane over there. I really like that plane, but uh, ooh, more gold. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, so Blackstone tries and generate in veins um, in the nether in Y levels 5 to 28. Also, I see mushrooms. So I think we have to go down a little bit deeper than where we are now. In order to get some but right now I am going to need food and hucklins are not gonna be the easiest thing to to kill so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get all of these mushrooms right here and then replant some more somewhere else where we decide to call it home but let's just head over here uh, if it's safe wait I see more gold yeet this episode will mainly be informational episode and, of course, gearing up. I just made some more golden ingots right here and I can, in fact, get a helmet, but I really want some leggings and a chest plate right now. So I'm just gonna keep looking for gold and blackstone. But I also really want to get up there uh, to that interesting looking thing up there. All right, I'm able to make a chest plate now, which I'm going to do. There we go. Looking good, looking fancy. We're definitely gonna need armor, especially for dealing with uh, with Huglins, so... And we still only have wooden tools. We may need to try and kill a Huglin, if possible, just to get some food. Though I'm not sure how doable that is. But anyways, let's hold, head over here real quick. And let's take a look at this strange building over here. Right there. There's a lot of piglins around, so... I mean, maybe... Maybe they will protect us. Oh, uh, there's some... There's a Huglin right there. That's... Uh, um, hem, 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 hem. I can't heal, but if I do manage to kill it, I mean, that wouldn't be bad. Okay, get rid of you first of all. 
Firstly, get rid of you. Yeah, you can follow. Uh, I mean, if you're just gonna stand there, I mean, that would be really, really appreciated. Good. Okay, we can get food. What's this? A villager. Named Bob. Alright, so, I'm gonna spill it now. <laughs> oh, leave me alone, please. I'm going to spill it now. Basically, in Season 1, uh, we were unable to make certain things, such as a beacon and an enchantment table, because we were missing some slight... Uh, a few features. We were missing a few features. For example, the beacon, we just needed glass. And for the enchantment table, we just needed either books or we needed a grindstone to unenchant books. So basically what I have done is Bob is here. He, he is, um, he's here. Um, he's at our service. And basically he will have some very specific trades. As you can see here, I have added 60 soul sand I can convert into a glass. Now I can also make it so that he takes 60 soul sand and a coal, for example, that will then turn into glass. I don't want it to be just easy to get. I want it to be expensive. And I have basically just not given a price to any of this whatsoever. Um, I added a brewing stand. I added the grindstone. I could also have added the stone slab, for example, to make the grindstone. I could also have added the cobblestone, but I feel like maybe make making me able to get the buy these directly for a high price. I'm honestly not 100% sure which is best. I feel like me getting the direct item is going to be the best. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. But I have not decided a price yet. Let me know what you think these prices should be. And redstone? Just, we can maybe make some redstone contraptions down here. I just feel like that might be really cool. Also, so we can make a compass, so we can actually use the lodestones. Um, and I just added what I what I thought was really cool here. And I do have something planned at the very end that I'm not going to spoil right now. Um, and it requires this. And it's an unknown secret. So, what's that? We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, let me know what you think of this idea. I think it would definitely make a change in Season 2, because now we will actually be able to make a beacon. We can enchant because we have Lapis Lazuli and we can get the grindstone. I just didn't need to decide on a fair price to have. Like I'm thinking maybe like something like 8 gold and a diamond for 3 Lapis Lazuli, for example. Or something like that. Or 8 gold for a single Lapis Lazuli. Something like that. I'm going to think about it, and uh, I guess these will unlock throughout the season as it comes time for us where we actually need to use these things. And the brewing stand so we can make potions, because potions are a huge deal. We can make it quite a lot of potions, actually. Like, we can make fire resistance potions, regeneration potions, strength potions, and probably even others that I haven't thought about. But, um... Yeah, I just thought that would be a very cool addition and a cool change to Season 2, allowing us to make even more things than we would were able to in Season 1. But let me know if you th if you can think of some prizes for some of these things. I'll look through the comments and, and if you see something that someone has already suggested that you like, be sure to like it up. Um, but yeah, suggest some prizes down below in the, in the comments. I will also be thinking, of course, and uh, maybe together we can come to a good price conclusion. But anyways, that is Bob. I guess we will call that Bob's hut. Oh, huh. Help me. Help me, Piglins. Piglins, help me. That's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack him from... Oh no, he killed one of them. Eh. Oh dear, I'm low health. Get him. Get him. Get him. Are you kidding me? You just stopped the hunt. All right, fine, I'll take the meat then. Thank you. Okay, I'm at half health. I need a furnace. I could just eat this meat. Uh, roar, roar, roar. But that's not effective use of it. And I should really not stand near a ledge. Uh, I need blackstone. Um, but let's head over here. I, just, I really need blackstone. I might have to go down mining for it. I was just hoping that maybe we could find a vein of it sticking out somewhere. But I guess that might be a little bit too much to ask for. Now I should mention that the that uh, Bob's shop over there is only for things that we're simply not able to get. So, for example, we can get iron. It's just very difficult. I'm not adding that to the list because we're able to get it. I want it to be as pure nether as possible. I just thought that it would be cool 
to have some of these small things um, able for us to to be made and crafted. I think we might need to get down there uh, to get some blackstone. I really need it for a furnace and um, uh, yeah, furnace and stone tools and a stone sword. Maybe I can use this to get down. Eh. Just climb on down. I may just stick down, you know, and start mining. Because I really, 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 really need blackstone. So you know what? We're going down, boys. Alright, I believe it was between... Um... Y level 1 and 28 blackstone would try and generate. Okay, lava, not nice. I'm gonna place that right there. Gonna try this way. Back to the old times with only having wooden tools. <laughs> uh, those were times. Remember that? Season one, we were not able to get stone tools whatsoever until they added blackstone. When they added blackstone, we were able to make stone tools. Until then, it was just simply not doable. We just could not do it. <gasps> Blackstone! Yes! Oh, yes. Stone Age. Yes. Who? yes. Alright, I'm gonna get a bunch of those. A real big bunch of those. Maybe like a stack or something. Then we're gonna upgrade our tools, make a furnace. And I'll, I'll make sure that we ha actually have a full stack on us. And we'll head back, I think, to Bob's hut. Because we need to make the board for the season 2 goals. You know what? We might as well really quickly make a furnace right away and make it cook the, um, the pork chop. Now, we cannot use the planks, can we? Nope, we have to use the sticks. The sticks it is. I can also really quickly convert these into ingots. I'm just gonna use the wooden pickaxe now to mine the blackstone because I, I don't really want them to fill up my inventory. <laughs> I don't really need them to do that. All right, food is served. Oh, that's good. Nom nom. Uh, let's just really quickly make some, some stone tools here. Let's start with a stone sword stone pickaxe, a stone axe, and stone shovel. Just because. Did I forget something? Nope, I did not. Alright, sweet. And get that. Alright, awesome. You know what, I might, as I might just go ahead, you know, and get this entire vein of blackstone. Because I might as well. Eh, you know what, I'll leave the rest. I'll even... No, I will definitely not leave the furnace. And I'll not leave the gravity table either. Either. All right. Don't need that. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to Bob's hut. Um, that we will also be near spawn, just in case we die. Then our starter base will be close um, to home. Whoa! Hey, fella. Yikes. Okay. Wow. Okay. I, I see how it is. Hey, maybe we can actually get a few over here. Hey, fella. That's right. Come and get me. Hopefully they can't fit down here. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble. Oh, yeah. Two of them. Sweet. And just use my stone axe here. Fully charge. How much damage is it that does? Nine attack damage. So that would be maybe four hearts. So four, eight, twelve... Uh, 18, 22. Yep, that fits. They have like, I think they have like 20 hearts. And we just gotta crawl up these twisting lines. Can I put more? Oh, I can. Oh, they function so well with as ladders. Wow, I need to remember that. You can place them on the go. Oh, I just looked at him. <laughs> Don't get angry at me, sir. That's some more gold. I might as well grab that. I need full gold arms. I need full gold armor plus 
we might be able to do some battering as well very soon. Maybe to get some iron if we can, that would be cool. Getting a shield is definitely gonna help us in our cause. Uh, we could make a quick bridge here. Because we might be traveling back and forth a couple of times. I don't like the look of that Hucklin though. Uh, please, don't hurt me. Don't, don't hurt us. I just making a bridge. Making a bridge. Uh, no good way of dealing with this. I'm just gonna run straight in. Oh, four hearts. Uh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Four hearts, four hearts, four hearts. Are you joking? Are you joking? Uh, and then you're all of a sudden friendly. I don't mind. <laughs> I really don't mind at all. And three more spawned. Nope, not dealing with that. Uh, I'm just back here because I wanted to get some warped wood here for the board we're gonna make. Maybe get some shroom lamps as well. Boom, I love that sound. All right, let's try and get to Bob's hut safely. Uh, hmm, nah, 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 mate. Nah. You wanna go, mate? You wanna go? Oh, okay. Whoa! He was passive for a second. Whoa. Nah. Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got him. Okay. That's the last of that. Don't really know where to make it. I suppose we'll maybe get rid of this. And maybe make a three block high pillar and then just put wood in the middle of it. I mean, if they're stuck back here, am I able to just... Oh yeah, I am. Okay. We might have to make a little bit of a contraption here for killing Hucklins, because this is giving us food right now. Not a full-on Huckland farm, but it's something. Speaking of Huckland farm, that is something I really want to make as well. I want to maybe make, if possible, some bigger projects. So for example, with having Bob here, we may be able to actually maybe make an actual gold farm? Maybe with a turtle egg that we can buy or something? I don't know. <gasps> with maybe a turtle egg or something that we can buy and actually make an actual farm? That would be cool. Oh, hey. <laughs> Could you move? Well then, at least I, at least I didn't die in the lava. All right, that, that's the main thing. I didn't die in the lava, right? Just go back and get my stuff. They hit hard though. I need armor so bad. Just gonna run, run through it all. You too. Hello. Oh, that was a huglin over piglin over there though. Now you are after me. Now you will be after me. They were stealing my gold. Excuse me. Uh, get that on real quick. Get my sword. Hey, fellas. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> uh, it's a madhouse here. Uh, I got some leather. I think that was from bartering and some crying obsidian. Great. Great. They took my gold and used it. Oh, well, let's get done here. Six of them. All right, and then we'll put the season two goals. Uh, I'm gonna start down here. Season two goals. All right, first one, finish all possible advancements. That is something I want to do because even though we cannot do all of the advancements, we can still do a lot of them, like mainly in the nether section, but even in just the Minecraft section, we can still do a lot of them. So, I want to try and get as many of them as possible. I want that to be a a, um, a goal for season two, or I guess not really a victory condition, but like something that has to be done in season two before it's completed. Defeat the Wither. That is going to be another goal as well. Not the final one though. Make a full beacon. Now this is not a full netherite beacon. This is just a full beacon of any material. So it can be gold, for example. Um, because we now have Bob here, 
who can conveniently sell us glass. I think I'm gonna change that to have a coal in it, by the way. I want to be able to make a full beacon so we can basically get his two or regeneration. I want to get a full beacon done. I think that is a good uh, little goal. And then I have a special one down here. That's it. It's unknown. It's unknown. We, we just don't know what it is. Yeah, it, it, it's... Who knows? That's a lot of arguments. Who who knows what it is? No one, no 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 one knows. Not not even Bob himself know what it is. Do you, Bob? Yeah, Bob 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 does Bob doesn't know what this is. So um, we'll we'll just have to wait to see what this is. Now, if you have any uh, suggestions of goals that we should try and do for season two, let me know down in the comments below right now. If you can think of some goals to put on here. I would like to maybe have one or two more goals. I think that would be cool. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. But anyways, I think I am going to set up camp right here. I might, uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean up my inventory. Um, cook some of this food. Get some more gold. Get some more hoglins perhaps. Get some more food build up. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be episode one of season two. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Remember... Minecraft Nether Survival merch down below in the description. Go ahead and check it out and get some for yourself. Also, if you're interested in the texture pack I use, link to that down below in the description as well. But that's going to be it for this one. I really, really hope you enjoyed. And I really hope to... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Wait, excuse me. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in episode two. I hope you're excited. I'm on the run. Hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. And, uh, phew. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, it's still as mad as season one. Good fun.